For the journalists and other employees at the News of the World, the announcement came as a bombshell. Founded in 1843, the Sunday newspaper will soon be off the presses. This reporter learned the news while he interviewed an MP in the House of Commons. My phone rang and it was a colleague saying, have you heard? No, get back here fast, just drop everything, come back, what's up? Check your email. So I got my Blackberry out and in front of the MP looked at me and the top of my email box was a, a message from James Murdoch. A round robin email to all the staff, so I scrolled down at the MP read it over my shoulder and the last line said, so this weekend this will be the last time the News of the World comes out. The decision came after fresh phone hacking allegations emerged Thursday. The paper is suspected of tapping phones belonging to Iraq war victim widows. This after it was accused of hacking a teenage murder victim's phone in 2002. This all happened five years plus ago. Very wrong. We all hated it. We're ashamed of it. We think it was wrong. We, we disown ourselves completely. But those people have all left and we're carrying the can for it. By shutting down News of the World, News International and its parent company, News Corp, are losing one of Britain's oldest papers. And the News of the World is the biggest selling Sunday newspaper by a long way. It sells a, a very big proportion of all the papers on, on a Sunday. And for it to suddenly be shut like this is, uh, is uh, everyone can't really believe it, I think. Prime Minister David Cameron has called for a public inquiry into the allegations, though he could end up caught in the scandal. His former media chief also served as the paper's editor.